Welcome back, folks, to Shovel Knight. Starting this one off with a bang. <laughs> D Dan, you're kicking off with a pun? This is so out of character. I mean, it was... I mean, come on. It was right there. It was right there! Uh -huh. Don't yell at me! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's wrong with you, Dan? What have you done? I, I want to know who this is and where the actual Dan is, actually. Who's this horse man? Tell me about tell me about horse guy. Uh, horse guy is literally just there to introduce this uh, mini level to you, and uh, and away you go. Uh, so basically, oh, every nice every world has uh, or not every world, but every hmm, every power up has a mini bonus stage like this. So for instance, hmm. after you get the uh, power glove, it's not power glove, a power glove <laughs> power up. Uh, this stage opens up, and you can basically test your skills and get a lot of treasure by using the power glove. Test nice. your might. Yeah. And if you can pull it off, that means that you can use the uh, skill pretty competently, I would say. These stages can be can be tricky. They, they definitely test your abilities. Cool. Yeah, they're neat. Uh, Shuffle Knight is a platformer. Speaking of platformers, Bubsy's coming back. What? Oh, oh why? Who the fuck did that? <laughs> Who was like, yeah, Bubsy, people love Bubsy. No one ever loved Bubsy. I owned a Bubsy game. I had Bubsy Which 2 one? or something on Genesis. <laughs> on Genesis, yeah, that's the one I, I had. I had that video game, and you know what? When I was younger, I was like, oh, cool. Like, I, I was like, oh, cool, I'm I'm eight. I like, I like colorful characters. Let's check out this cool cat. And then I played that game, and I was like, oh, this game is shit. I'm just going <laughs> to replay Sonic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Bubsy is terrible. Those games are so bad. Like, I know I sometimes joke about Sonic games being bad, but, like, and, like, they are, but, <laughs> like, Bubsy Damn. games are, like, truly, truly bad. Like, those are games that no one likes. And now we're getting Bubsy. a whole new game has an attachment to Bubsy the character? What do you... Get out of here. Who is going to play that game? <laughs> so you're pre-ordering it, right, Dan? <laughs> yes, Will, I'm pre-ordering Bubsy. <laughs> you got me. Those are words I would I did not expect to hear in my lifetime, to be honest. <laughs> From anyone! Exactly, that's my point. <laughs> I, you know, I did pre-order though. I, I did pre-order Destiny 2 recently. Oh what was that? I did pre-order Destiny 2 recently because that game was uh, the pre-order was on sale for fifty dollars. So I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Are you, are you talking about that Walmart sale that was on yesterday? Cause yes, there was that Walmart sale. I, I was thinking about getting crashed, but I'm like, eh, I'll see. I'll wait till Amazon has it for thirty bucks. And I think it does actually. I should get on that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, what the hell is going on here? Fuck Bubsy. What what are we doing? <laughs> oh well, uh, we're we're in another bonus level. Although this one okay. is just purely for treasure. Uh, yeah, th th those come along every now and again. They don't test your. Uh, they 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 they're usually based around a gimmick. Like for for this past level, they use the Specter Knight gimmick, where the entire where it basically pulls a, a Donkey Kong Country, uh, and you're playing in a silhouette mode. Mm, right. That's cool. Uh, uh, you just you just trigger that. I. You know what? I'm not sure what past me was doing. Maybe I was trying to trigger the boss fight just to get it out of the way. Oh, right. Boss. I forgot. So Boss is a tie-in with Dive Kick. Wait, what? Right. There is a character named Boss in Dive Kick who is based off of a, an, an unused character in Street Fighter that someone found some like concept art for that they ended up never using and it was meant to be sort of like weird, grim and gritty, like 90s comic book sort of character. And so they made him, they sort of made him into a parody in Dive Kick, and I forgot that all of these guys walking around are like tie-ins with other indie games, if I remember correctly. Oh, so like really? this guy's got like, like the moves that he does are the moves that he has in Dive Kick, or they're very similar. Like he, he has a rope and he swings. That's like his thing in Dive did, Kick. Did he have a fleshed out character? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Because <laughs> all the characters in Dive Kick are just sort of like extended fighting game jokes. Yeah, so yeah, I know what his character like, is like in this game. This guy looks like something Rob Liefeld designed. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's and that's what he's meant to be. That's what he's meant to look like for sure. And he looks even more like that in uh, in Dive Kick. He sort of got like like he like lights up cigars and he's kind of like a fake Wolverine kind of guy. It's kind of funny if he's in Dive Kick knowing uh, Rob Liefeld's hatred for drawing legs and feet. 
Mm. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. Um, yeah, so, Will, I forget, because there are other characters from indie games in this game, right? Wait, what? As, as these little, like, mini-bosses, if I remember correctly. Boss was the only one I was aware of. Okay. There might be others. Okay. Interesting. So wait, uh, I will. I will look out for them. You just leave Boz, and he just sort of goes away. Uh, you don't just leave Boz. Uh, if you beat him up after he's down, you can get some money. Oh, okay. I highly nice. recommend it. <laughs> sort of like how you supposed to. Take him while he's down. D yeah. Get get coins. Boz actually went through some really big changes in Dive Kick. Oh, I got <laughs> he was too. He was OP, and they had to change his move set. How can you be OP in Dive Kick? Dive Kick is a cool game. Have you ever actually played Dive Kick? I played it once and it was kind of disgusted as a fighting game. No, yeah. Dive Kick is really cool because Dive Kick is a game that is, uh, it's, it is trying to communicate what is cool about fighting games without having to make you like learn a bunch of stuff. Um, I, I, and like practice I, I, I combos that. and stuff. But it, it, I, I like Dive Kick a lot. I, I'm a big fan. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, that game that game does have like balance to it. It does have like like a lot of the characters in Dive Kick do really weird things. Like Dive and Kick uh, are pretty basic characters, but a lot of the other characters have really weird nuances about them and, and sort of th they they mess around with those basic movement concepts in some pretty interesting ways. So Boz in the in Dive Kick uh, by default would have like a swing sort of move, so he his jump would be him like. I think he would like jump, his dive would be him jumping, and his kick would be he would like throw the rope and then do sort of like a swing motion. Um, and I think, I don't remember how they nerfed him, but they nerfed him somehow. I don't remember. They nerfed him and they also nerfed, nerfed uh, S. Kill, who is just Seth Killian, um, the, the fighting game commentator and sometimes fighting game balancer, if I remember correctly. Well, if um, I remember correctly, he was hugely instrumental in getting uh, Marvel's Capcom 3 off the ground. Yeah, was he? Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that, but that seems, yeah, that seems like in his wheelhouse. Or I could be thinking of somebody else. Sure. Um, but yeah, they also nerfed him. He was, he was, he's basically, so, it's Seth Killian. In the game, his name is S. Kill, uh, and his moveset is basically just Seth from Street Fighter 4 because they're both named Seth. So he just like teleports everywhere, but they nerfed him to make him not as good, which is a bummer. So this is Mr. Hat. Uh, once you get everyone out of the store, uh, Mr. Hat compliments Shovel Knight's helmet and says, I want it as a part of my collection. Shovel Knight oh, wow. refuses and fight. Cool. Round one. Is this, I, don't, I don't know if I remember doing this fight. Does this you fight might... always happen, or is this like an optional thing? This is an optional thing. You have to drop about $3,000, I think, to be able to activate mm. this fight. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't so, recall this so, fight, but I don't know. That, well, that's fitting, because that's probably a, the same amount of money you probably have to drop in order to get all the hats in TF2. Oh, you'd have to drop way more, my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you would have to drop a lot more than $3,000 to get every really? hat in TF2. Oh, Yo, geez. yes. Yeah, it's the same way for like Dota 2. Like, ask ask someone who really plays Dota 2 how much money they've spent on Dota 2, and they will give you some very high numbers. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, so if you catch Mr. Hat just chilling on top of his sign, uh, he gives cool. you more money for your trouble. I don't know I what like trouble him. he put you through, but I mean, he made you fight him. That's kind of some trouble. Yeah, but he already gave you your money back after that. Now he just gives you more oh. money. He's got to kick you a little bit of extra. If I if I spent a bunch of money at someone's store and then they tried to beat me up and then I beat them up, I would definitely expect my money back plus a little extra. I well, think that's fair. I, I think you've got more problems at that point, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, so this is the upgrade shop. Uh, these two uh, these two smithies here. Uh, you can upgrade your shovel. Uh, these, I believe... Hmm. I believe these stack. I believe the shovel power-ups stack. Um, I, I do think Drop Spark is a good thing to buy. <laughs> and, uh, the, yeah, the, these armors, they don't stack, but, uh, you can... You know, I don't really like them. I like the golden one. It says it doesn't do anything, but it makes your jump... So it, it makes Shovel Knight do, like, a, a twirl in the air, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I so it just makes like... you look cooler. Well, I feel like it actually does... I don't know, I could be wrong. Like, it could just be an illusion, but I feel like it gives you, like, just a little bit of extra height in the jump. Mm. But it's... Maybe it's just superstition. Maybe it's like a, a 
this is like the hold up and B to get better at catching a Pokemon <laughs> of this game. What do you mean, Dan? That, 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 that always worked 100% of the time. <laughs> 100% of the time, 0% of the time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is the, uh... This is the, the, uh... Well, it's basically a haunted castle. Um, I like their little fundraising campaign uh, gag there. Did you come here just to show us that joke? Uh, no, I'm actually broke right now, so I can't do this mission. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna fight another knight in the meantime okay. and get some money. Great. So this is the Found obligatory money. ice stage. Of course. Fight knight. Yeah, these physics, um, I mean, hey, they're ice physics. They're, they're exactly what you'd expect it to be. Totally. Yeah. So yeah, this, this level can be tricky. Uh, there's a lot of spots in this level where, uh, there's a lot of instant death spikes in this level, and they can be very, their placements can be quite deceiving. So, prepare for those. <laughs> and those wolves can be obnoxious, because they just don't know when to stop. <laughs> Uh, but it's pretty easy to sort of trick their position into like falling off the edge like that. I was yeah, I was gonna say because you could probably do that. But, yeah, you can't oh, I see. So you can drop that projectile now. Yeah. On your shovel. That's yeah, cool. that's one of the upgrades. Nice. Yeah, I think another one's charging it up, but I never really used that. Um, then I don't. I just don't remember what the last one is. Again, I don't really use any upgrades in, in this game at all. Hmm. But they can be helpful. Yeah, uh, Polar Knight is probably one of the most... He's probably one of the most interesting characters, we'll, we'll, we'll see him later, but uh, he doesn't speak much, but there is some clear history between him and Shuffle Knight. Hmm. Okay. So, um, just a question, um, because E3 is just around the corner, and E3 might already be done and over with by the time this is already, like... Oh, it, it oh, most, most likely, yeah, most likely. Yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, what are you guys hoping for E3? I mean, I already. I, so I said in a, in a previous episode that we just recorded. I, I really. Oh, okay. Are we talking about like what I would like to see in a dream world, or what I would like to see, or like what I, I actually expect to see at E3? Either or. Both. I mean, in a dream world, I really want a Tokyo Mirage Sessions two. Never gonna happen. That game did not sell very well, and I can't. I can't see it happening. Um, I would love. I mean, I'd like to see a lot more Super Mario Odyssey, which is probably going to happen. Um. I'd actually like to see a lot of, like, Hey Pikmin, because that game seems really cool, but, I mean, it's coming out soon, so whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to see, man. I just want to see something interesting. That That's that's mostly all I ever want. I already got my dream pick uh, for the new Bubsy game, so we're good. <laughs> no. I was going to say, that's, that's your dream. Of course. <laughs> of course. No, you know, I, I, I'd straight up like to see a uh, Spyro. Uh remaster or something like the crash thing's been mm. getting a lot of attention I, I think that'd be my dream pick because i'm pretty sure it's not going to happen a little too soon for that uh if if they're going to do a spiral game i think they're going to want to see how the crash game sells first well but, uh yeah. well if you want spyro go play skylanders <laughs> Jordan, i have a lot of problems with that <laughs> um yeah, you know what? I would actually really like to see more of like the the God of War game that was announced at E3 last Dad year, and that oh, yeah. looks like really really different from the old ones. Like that game is almost definitely not coming out this year. Probably not coming out till next year. But I think it would be really cool just to see a little bit more about like what that game actually is. It's Dad of War. Yeah, it actually well, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thematically, you get it, but it'd be cool to actually see the game itself. Uh, Jordan, before we get into your picks, uh, what do you guys think are the chances we're going to see Kingdom Hearts 3 anything? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> we're not going to see any Kingdom Hearts 3, we're not going to see any Final Fantasy 7 remake, uh, and that's how that's going to go. See, if not, if not Kingdom Hearts 3, at least some Final Fantasy 7 stuff. Oh, you're um, definitely not going to see that because that's it, it's already going through development problems. Will, Will, <laughs> yes. I just want to, I just want to tell you I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 to never come out. Oh, yeah, no, I, I can't wait to be on, like, my, my retirement bed 80 years from now and being like, oh, cool, they're finally announcing the first trailer. <laughs> I mean, they had a first trailer. <sighs> that was... Didn't they have an announcement trailer second. at, like, E3 last year or something? It, it was Two more like ago. just gameplay images they cut together and mm. stuff. I mean, like, they, they were, like, actual gameplay stuff, but... Eh, yeah. Wouldn't really sure. call it a trailer. Uh, Jordan, uh, before this part is over, I would also like to hear what, what, you, what you were hoping to see. Well, in an ideal world, I would love to see a wonderful 102, mm -hmm. um, a 
a new F Zero and a new Metroid. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> new, new <laughs> Metroid. Like, like, oh boy, yeah. F Zero. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> uh, you know, it, I find uh, F Zero kind of funny now because uh, basically Mario Kart literally stole all of its shit. Except for Captain Falcon, it's and like, also oh, except for like playing like how the game plays. Well, no, it's like well, actually no, because basically with 200 CCs, it's basically M zero. Yeah, and, fair enough. Yeah, and it's like um, it's funny because you know they're like, okay, we need some extra characters for Mario Kart. Okay, let's get the villager from Animal Crossing. Uh, oh, let's get the Inkling for Splatoon. Let's get oh, Pink Gold Peach. Link. From Legend of Zelda. Oh, and there's like, oh, here's F Zero. Okay, let's gonna take. We're gonna make the game super fast. We're gonna get the Blue Falcon. We're gonna make two stages based on F Zero. And meanwhile, just punch Captain Falcon in the dick and leave him to die. I mean, you can sort of have. You can you can get the cap if you have the Captain Falcon amiibo. You can get his costume for the me, which is <laughs> oh, sort of close. That that's no, what Captain no, Falcon's been. That's, that's what that's what he's been reduced to. That's the point. Listen, who has any attachment? To Captain Falcon, the character, other than the fact that he Falcon punches things. That's all you need, Dan. <laughs> well, guess what? That wouldn't even be in Mario Kart, so why do you care? I can see that item. I don't know what it'd be like. I don't know what it would manifest itself as, but I can see no, it. No, it. It, would, it would manifest itself as, like, a second kind of invincibility star. You just have, like, the entire character on fire. See, I would think of it as, like, a... a, a, a a palette swap of the bullet bill. Yeah, like a giant flaming fist. Yeah. 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 See, there we go. I, I buy that. Okay, so those are your dream picks that are never gonna happen. What, what, what do you, what do you, what do you want to see? That's like a thing that's tangible and will probably actually be there. Um, honestly, just more Switch games because that game, that console is just starved for anything right now. Mm. Oh man, I don't know. Like, I, 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 like, yes, I understand where those complaints come from, but there's a lot of really great like indie stuff on there. I know now, and, thing, and that's really cool. I know, and I really want to buy it, but it's like, at the same time, though, that shit's expensive. Like, it they is. Don't yes. discount it at all. It's like, no. oh, you want to buy? Like, I want to buy snipper claps. It's like almost thirty dollars. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah this yeah, one's well, like, I what? mean. It's got less indie games than like the the, the Vita had when that came out, and mm, that's well, saying something. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, I, I like I'm not complaining about like spending thirty dollars for like snipper clips. Like, I will probably eventually pay that much for it because I really want it, and I think it's probably really cool. But at the same time, though, it's just like I feel like they def they desperately need to sort of rethink their pricing strategy when it comes to their indie stuff. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, definitely. And, 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 and I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's not really the fault of the developers. It's just the fault of like Nintendo at mm. some level. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I I got uh, between like so maybe this is because I have a PS4 and I have a PC. So like I have other places to play games on. So I don't need the Switch's library to be super packed. And like between Zelda, which I'm like still not done with, like I'm gonna go back and do all the shrines after I finish Persona, which is very very soon. Um, and Mario Kart, which like I still have to beat, get three stars on all the on all the on all the circuits and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and Thumper, which I bought, and like I do want to get Shovel Knight on there. And like I've heard that Wonder Boy game is pretty cool. Wonder Boy is pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, and like I really want to play Stardew Valley finally, and Switch seems like the best place to get that. And mm. like. War Groove is coming out pretty soon, and that looks yeah. awesome. And, and I, I Pocket wanna, I, Rumble is coming out. Like, so it's like there are all these games that I want to play on it. And because I have other consoles for like big things or little things for that matter, like the Switch is it's keeping pace with where I would want it to be. But I understand that that's not the situation that everyone is in. Yeah, and but it's like um, I don't know. It's like I have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And don't get me wrong, I love the game for my Switch. But at the same time, I already had Mario Kart 8. Totally, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I didn't have it on Wii U, so for me, this is all kind of new. So it's, it's, it's still cool for me. But yeah, I totally understand like, where you're coming from. Like the from. only other game, like the only two games on, because I already have Breath of the Wild on Wii U. Yeah. Um, I only games that I really want for the Switch that are currently out or almost out are like Splatoon 2 and Arms, yeah. which don't come out for like an. Well, that Split, Arms comes out in like next week, uh, and yeah. then there's like. Ultra Street Fighter 2, which I am not paying forty dollars. Yeah, don't, for. don't, no. pay, don't pay for that game. That I'm seems waiting, like a waste of time. I'm waiting to come on the bargain basement. This is the bargain basement, but the yeah. um, and also um, snipper clips, which I will end up paying for, but I just haven't had the time to. Or, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but 
I don't know. Yeah, I, I, you of, know what? I'm actually I'm actually really pumped for Splatoon 2. I, I missed Splatoon 1. Like I missed... Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> like like I missed Mario Kart, I also missed Splatoon 1. Uh, so I am I am excited to sort of get in on it like when it comes out this um, time. We played the demo... Uh, Will and I, we played the demo at the um, Nintendo event, remember? Yeah, Jordan freaking yeah. dominated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I... I liked Splatoon 2's demo, and so I'm really just looking forward to like how it ends up shaping out. I do think it loses something for having a no second screen, though. That's the only th disappointment I have with mm. it. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I mean, like in the original Splatoon, like what I loved about it is that you can use the gamepad for port for teleporting to your to your allies, but also to see the state of the game map without having it to sort of interfere with your main screen, yeah. which is no longer an option anymore. Sure, um, I mean that, that seems like a thing that's um, it's it's unfortunate, but it's like not a huge deal. It kind of is because like you know it's sort of now it's a actual sort of hindrance to your actually doing things like mm. for example i could start um in regular splatoon i could just start like spraying around the place and meanwhile just take a, a like a half second glance at the at my gamepad i know the layout of the map automatic like as soon as i look at it and i know where i need to start striking mm. but it's yeah and, and um it's just yeah, I, I wish the Wii, the Switch was not a single screen experience because I think Splatoon specifically loses a lot from having it be like that. Hmm. But I, but Splatoon Two still seems pretty fun. I'm really looking forward to um, getting the double the double guns, whatever they're called. Yeah, because those are really fun. They allow you to like dash and dodge in like really cool ways. Hmm. Cool. Uh, I like that. Sorry, going back to the game, I like that Shovel Knight and uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Polar, Polar Knight. Knight. Polar Knight. I like that they have a kinship because they both use shovels. <laughs> I think that's cool. Man, I think it'd be really cool to explore some sort of backstory there, but I don't Spin know. Nah, man, nah, they give you what you need. Just, just, just accept what you need. You don't need the other stuff. But, but I, I like the backstory. There, there's something cool there. It's, it's fan nah. fictions. Just go, just go read fan fiction if you want that. I wonder if a fan fiction. Hmm. Do fan? I'm sure it does. Uh, I don't on. know if I want to look that up though, Dan. I, I, maybe I should just write it myself. Oh, not all fan fiction is horny. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> not all, not all fan fiction is horny. Just ninety nine percent of it. <laughs>